why you are unable to sustain a stable relationship, a committed relationship like marriage. Why? Not once, sometimes twice, sometimes thrice. You get into a relationship, you get married, and then everything is nice and dandy in the beginning. But as time goes, it'll collapse. Now, it gets trickier when you have children uh, and it goes into different, uh, different dimensions of problems. And that happens more than once. And so you're wondering why this happens. There are two parts to look at this. The first part is the psychological part, okay. where one of the partners is basically insecure. It's either the guy or the girl. They feel that they are not good looking enough appearance. They feel that they're not academically strong enough or they feel that they are, in terms of money, they are not. In terms of career, they are not. In terms of passion, they are not. They, they are trying to compete with their partner. It's either the girl or the, the boy. It doesn't matter. There is a competitive spirit here. And that's, that's because that will lead into insecurity. And there's one of the major reasons why it fails. The second thing is that I have seen over the years is there's lack of commonality. They don't have a fixed intention. Both of us, let's join together. Let's talk about what we need, what are our common goals, what we need to achieve, what we need to do for our children, what we need to do for us, for both you and me. Those sort of communication is usually vacant for these people. So this is on the psychological part. But I believe, as an astrologer, that the main reason for these breakups, right, if you cannot maintain a stable relationship, is due to karma, all right? It's a karmic residue. It's accumulated from your past lives, plural, past lives. And so what uh, astrologer, what we can do is to look at your most recent past life. There are many past lives. Nobody knows how many past life uh, we have taken, but we can always check the most recent one. The most recent one is found in the D9's D9. The D9 is the ninth division, the ninth Varga, uh, which is also called the Navamsa. Now, if you dissect that even uh, in another nine times, right? D9 is already dissected nine times from the main Rasi. And you dissect another nine times. You, you have the D9's ninth division. If it sounds technical, you, know, you just let me know. I can have it checked for you for a fee. My WhatsApp details in the bio. That chart, that D9's D9, can actually show you by looking at the seventh Lord and his nakshatra. Seventh is a Kalatra, right? Communion. Uh, partnership that will show the karmic reason why the marriage keeps fading. Now, finding the right remedies based on that seventh Lord's nakshatra stops all the problems. I have clients uh, over the years who have been living happily now, tattooed, everything is nice with them after performing the remedies. Those are the things that you can do uh, if, if you know how to read the charts. If you don't know how to read the charts, I'm, I'm, I'd be more than happy to do it for a small fee. You can connect with me via WhatsApp. Details is in the bio. And I'll talk to you soon.